how does one keep from being globally reset? Skills, 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 skills. I just had one fool that thinks the metaverse is literally going to create millions of millionaires overnight. And this is a sentiment that is replete and redundant in the lower economic strata. Many of these people feel that something's going to come along to save them. Something is going to just show up out of the midnight sky and bless them with a lot of money. And they don't have to prepare. They don't have to educate themselves. They just have to just keep living and breathing. See, this is something that I have noticed that has been going on. You have a lot of people who cannot do anything. They cannot um, write a book. They cannot. Let's let's talk about communication. So many people in America have extremely poor communication skills. Give you an example. In my car rental business, I will have someone that will tell me a problem. They will not state their name. They will not state what car they have. And I was like, to make this a little easier, what is your name and what car you're renting and what's going on? Very, very, very poor communication skills. These people cannot write. It was funny. I used to be in the leads group and this guy, I was talking, I was like, yeah, I do a little writing on the side. And, you know, I showed him some of my work. He said, wow, you know, you communicate very good, well in the written word. He says, I have an office of 100 people and there are maybe five people that can write an articulate and complete sentence. And I was like, you're kidding. He said, no, and he said, it's really bad. And this was years and years ago before it just sunk down to this level. Like right now, I have a video on Lost Kings talking about the weak American male. These guys can't do anything. They cannot change oil. They cannot fix brakes. They can't lay bricks. They can't frame a house. They can't put roof a roof on. They can't do frame. They can't do anything. And right now we have a situation where the lower economic strata is abandoning DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, restaurant jobs. It's like, hey, I don't want to do it because they got comfortable during the pandemic. They didn't have to work. They weren't getting evicted. The car wasn't getting repoed. And they were like, hey, I like this. So many of these folks without the benefit of a robust savings plan have quit their jobs and they're just out here living. My, my people, if you don't want to be globally reset, you need to be in position of some skill sets and like this whole metaverse. Like once again, let me, let me tell you who's going to make the money in the metaverse. Computer programmers, digital designers, uh, creatives, people who know how to do stuff, creative stuff. These are the people who make the money in the metaverse. If your name is Billy and you drive a truck and Billy's like, hey, I'm going to join the metaverse. Billy, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. Like this clown who was talking about all these. You know, here's the thing. We live in the United States of America. And right now it is easier today than it has been in any time in history to become rich. It used to be, we go back to the time of kings and queens and medieval, you had to be born into wealth and the king had to bless you with a, you know, a position on the court. Right now, you could be dirt poor 
And if you acquire the right skill sets, you can be wealthy within 10 years. Now, let's ask ourselves this question. Why aren't more people wealthy? Why aren't more people living an abundant lifestyle? Goes back to skill sets. These people don't have any skill sets. They don't have any abilities. They don't have any program. They have no framework. They have no structure. They can't do anything. You have a lot of people who want to go on vacation. They want to eat fancy meals, drink refreshing tropical drinks. And they want to live that life, that Instagram life, but they have no skills whatsoever. They cannot write coherently. They cannot communicate. And let's talk about communication. What is YouTube? It is communication. And there are like 30 million YouTube channels. And there's only 250,000 channels that have more than 100,000 subscribers. Not even 1%. See, if you look at the Pareto principle, which is the 80-20 rule, which I'm gonna skew a little bit, it should be in certain things, the 95, 5% rule. Literally less than a fraction, let's say 0.5%. 0.5% of YouTube makes 95% of the YouTube money. And the, the other, 95% of the people out there are sharing 5% of the YouTube money. This is why you will see a young YouTuber who's able to live in a beautiful house in an expensive city such as New York or Los Angeles or you know maybe Vegas and they're able to live quite well because they're making a lot of YouTube money because they have figured out some stuff. They have skill sets like you want to be a YouTuber, right? And a lot of people think I'm just going to pull out my cell phone and I want to make videos that used to work. This is a Sony 7S III shoots in 4K. I've got uh, Sennheiser lav mics. This setup is about 4,500 bucks sitting on a nice tripod. Now why, you know, because once you get into YouTube, certain things like all this camera, I can switch this camera from that tripod to that tripod because I've got a quick release clip. As you build your YouTube, you start to learn little things that save you time because typically if I didn't have this quick release clip, I would literally have to screw it off, take, you know, maybe a minute or two, whereas I can just flip a lever, drop it on that in like seconds, like two, three seconds. So, you know, there's a lot of you who want to do this metaverse thing, but you have no creative skills. You can't build a website. You can't build a podcast. You cannot build a YouTube channel. You can't, you can't do nothing. But if you're one of those fools who think that you're going to become an instant millionaire because I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to the law of attraction. All right. So I'm about to give you some pointers on what you should be doing to be skilling up. Number one, you should be reading every day. Regardless of what you're doing, you should be reading in your chosen field of study. Let's say you want to become a programmer, programming, cybersecurity, a digital design, uh, interface design. These are the people who are going to become rich doing this metaverse thing. And the people who are at the top of their fields with the connections, the pedigree, they're going to get rich, rich, rich. It is not going to be some joker who is currently sitting in their mama's basement playing video games that's going to become a millionaire in the metaverse. And let's talk about that right now. It is the easiest time in history to become rich. 
the friction and what is friction these are barriers i became a millionaire with no capital investment let me say that again i became a millionaire with no capital investment i wrote one book and i made 1.5 million dollars what was my skill set i could write a book see there are ways that you can make a lot of money with actually no money if you are a creative person if you can like i'm getting ready to start writing again i got like there's so many things i'm getting ready to do i'm like i moved i switched up i changed up everything i changed up my fit i'm changing up everything and i'm going back to writing because Believe it or not, I have friends who are writers who are making 50, 60, 70, $80,000 a month consistently. They've been doing this for the last 10, 15 years because they, they write good books. They write good books. So if you're a creative, like Jordan Peterson has uh, this video talking about the curse of being a creative person. And he breaks down some very important parts of the creative lifestyle. And one of the things that he breaks down is if you're a creative person and let's, let's, let's go ahead and let's look at my example of me writing a book that made me a millionaire. When I wrote that book, unlike most authors, I knew that I had to market that book. How did I know this? I ran a business selling used stuff, washer, dryers, sofas, bedroom sets, used clothing, whatever. And I learned early, early on, if I did not write ads and push that stuff out on Craigslist, eBay, and Amazon, and if I didn't, I, I will tell you my process for the upscale garage sale. And the upscale garage sale was to sell items that we could not sell on Craigslist, eBay, or Amazon. I would wake up every Saturday and I would go up and put up these signs. And I went through a few um, different challenges with these signs. First, I had some professionally printed up signs. They worked okay, but something strange happened. People would steal my professional signs. So I had these big pink signs, upscale garage sale, that I would go on uh, Tucker Mountain Industrial Boulevard and I would put them up by the quick trip and then I would swing around and I would put them up on the other side. So one, I would put up about 10 signs and this would bring traffic in. What is a sign? It is marketing, it is advertising. So unlike most writers, I knew that I had to advertise my book. And what I did is I built this channel around my book and I advertised and pushed that book for five years. I got those skill sets because I ran a successful and competent business off, off the internet. So I brought my business skills to the internet. And this is why all of you lazy, do nothing folks who are like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get rich you doing the metaverse. Really? What are you gonna bring to the metaverse? What unique and special skill are you gonna bring to, are you a programmer? Are you an artist? Are you a designer? Going back to Jordan Peterson. And this is something that I have seen firsthand. I have a friend who is wildly creative and she can dress her ass off. I mean, literally every time we go out, people like ask her about what she has on and she is poor as shit. She is poor as shit. She knows how to flow some stuff, but she has a skill set that Jordan Peterson referenced that she cannot monetize. She can't monetize it because even though she is quite fashionable, she knows how to put colors together. She knows how to put the look together. And, you know, and I, I was like, look, 
I know you like to do that for you, but if you want to make money for doing that, you're going to have to get away from that comfort level, being comfortable and doing it when you want to. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to turn this into a business and she doesn't want to do that. She's just like, you know, I like doing this when I want to do it. You know, if I if I turn it into like a, a business or something, that would feel like a job and I don't want to do that. I was like, all right, this is most creative people. Most creative people, like a lot, I have a lot of friends who are writers. They want to write that book and then turn over the promotion and the marketing of that book to other people. And they just like, hey, let me write the next book. See, if you want to make money and let me go ahead and say it one more time. Right now, it is easier in history to become rich than it's ever been. But you got to have the right collection of skill sets. It ain't going to just hop in your pocket. Like I've got a plan. Like one again, like this is the Institute of Economic Thought. This is the main YouTube channel. Savage Money is now Hustlers Kung Fu. It's going to be the business channel. How to start a business channel. The Lost Kings is going to be a manhood channel and I'm going to start another personal finance channel. Now, why am I doing this? I am building a media company. If you don't get what I'm doing and all these folks just leave the internet, just like those young girls who answered my ads and came to my house and fucked me. You're coming to my channel. I ain't messing with you. I ain't even thinking about you, but you're coming to my channel to tell me to leave the internet. It is hilarious. But with skill sets, you've got to have the right skill sets. Skill sets. I would say programming, anything to do with computers. And when I say anything to do with computer design, if you study business like I have, you would know that Target hired Isaac Maserati. I don't know if that's his correct way to say his name, but this is when you go to Target and you have Method Soap, they created the design and the packaging and this transformed Target. Because if you didn't know, Target was in direct competition with Walmart and they were not winning. And Target's like, we got to do something different. So they brought in Isaac and they enhanced their design, they raised their prices, and they've appealed to a different demographic than the people. I've not been to Walmart in years. I think the last time I went to Walmart, and I didn't go in, I actually drove someone to Walmart, it was like 2015. I am not a Walmart shopper. I'm an online shopper. I am a Target. I will go into Target in a heartbeat. I'll go into Target in a heartbeat. So what Target did using design is differentiate themselves and separate themselves from Walmart. There's a Walmart crowd, there's a Target crowd. And, they fit, and they've done really, really well since they made these innovations and, and re, redirects in their business. They've done really, really well. So guys, you got to go out and get you some skill sets. So I would suggest that you start reading like whatever you want to do. If you want to get into design, I would read every book on design. I would be on every design blog. I would be so into the community that people would know you from your comments. Cause see, there are many of you out there who thinks this clown that we're going to become millionaires overnight due to the metaverse with no skill sets, nothing. You don't have nothing going on. No skill sets, no uh, nothing. I'm gonna tell you who's gonna make a whole bunch of money in the metaverse. Digital designers, gamers, creative people. People who already have a portfolio because what's gonna happen when the money starts coming, looking for people to invest in, you think it's gonna invest in you, Broke Dick Danny? Hmm. 
It's going to invest in people with a track record. That's what the smart money is going to invest. The smart money is going to invest in people who can actually do things. The smart money is going to be all about investing in viable projects. And if you have no design, no computer, like essentially no internet skills to speak of, like this person is a YouTube channel. That's a gossip channel, just trash content. And typically if you want to start a gossip channel, that's, that's, that's all you can do. It ain't like you can do anything else. It ain't like you have any other skills. And you know, let's just talk about, you know, since I'm talking about skill sets, my skill set that has made me the most money is the ability to communicate, communicate, communicate concepts and ideals. That is a skill set. My second thing that made me the most money is my ability to write. That is skill set. So one of the things that you have got to look at and you've got to understand is the power of having skill sets and the power. Damn, that was crazy. You got to have the, the ability to be diligent and this is something that i'm going to get into because you got to be the ability have that ability to self-study self-motivate self-direct and wake yourself up every day and be on task and be on point because like so many of you out there you could have a different kind of life you can have a different uh, level of life you can have a different living all together if you would become focused and you whatever skill sets and like first of all i became rich because i worked on my skill sets that were in alignment with my natural abilities and interests i read 4000 books from the first grade to 12th grade I started writing every day. So I dug into my skill sets and I'm expanded them. And I, you know, strange story. I tried to make money writing for years and years and years and it never worked out. Once I started and ran a successful business, I'm gonna tell you what gave me the discipline to write my first book. Writing all those Craigslist ads. I've literally written thousands of Craigslist ads. Crunk them out. 20, 30, sometimes, I remember my record, I wrote 100 Craigslist ads in one day. It was all day. I was just sitting there cranking out ads, posting ads, cranking ads. And that gave me the discipline to write and finish my first book. Having a successful business, creating all of that, those ads, and getting that feedback and creating systems and processes gave me the skill sets to communicate. I remember because of YouTube, YouTube, I could do public speaking if I chose to. It's not like something I really want to do. It's not on my target list. But I remember early in my YouTube career, I was asked to go speak at this writer's workshop. And I'm not, I was never a public speaker, but because of doing YouTube, it gave me the ability to do public speaking. I was at ease, everyone enjoyed it, they enjoyed my presentation. So my skill sets are multi. Number one, I can write competently and clearly. Number two, I can speak. Let's, let's just talk about that. Stop using slang. Next person who says you capping, I'm gonna slap you, I'm gonna virtually slap you. I don't use slang. There's a reason I don't use slang. Because when you have a broad vocabulary, the number of people that you can communicate with, you, I can communicate with CEOs. I can communicate with college professors. I can communicate with anyone of, across a very wide spectrum. But when you use simple English, simple language, the number of people that you can communicate with dramatically shrinks. So this is some that Rush Limbaugh, I don't know if he's still alive. I think he died, I'm not sure. But see if you can find it on eBay. It's called 
verbal advantage. Rush Limbaugh, who was not a college graduate, built a multi-million dollar fortune off of his ability to communicate and speak clearly. That's what got Rush Limbaugh. I don't have my phone on me, I'll look it up. But I think Rush Limbaugh, if he's dead, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if he's alive or dead, but Rush Limbaugh, I think, had a net worth of $500 million from his ability to communicate clearly, to convey concepts, to command an audience. And I remember, it was Rush Limbaugh, it was Neil Bortz, and they were, they were on WSGB when I was at Fort McPherson and Miss Woodson used to listen to him. And Rush used to be a disc jockey and that's why he had that funky music. Rush Limbaugh created a half a billion dollar fortune off of his ability to communicate. So for all you guys who wanna push back, like, man, I'm gonna keep speaking. I don't, I don't need no fancy words. I don't need no fancy vocabulary. Keep thinking that. Because I'm about to tell you something for a lot of you poor communicators. If you can increase your communication skills, verbal advantage, I don't know if you can find it. I don't know if they still make it, but it was, the number, the level of women you will date. There are women out there who are beautiful, who are intelligent. If you're smart and you can communicate well, they will give you a shot, regardless of what you look like, because they have a high value on communication skills, on speaking, speech patterns, very high value for that, because that's the circle they run in. This is something I used to do quite frequently. Uh, I bought these bar stools from this chick and I wrote, went to her house. She had a Porsche, he had a BMW, they had a house, they were extremely young. I'm like 21, 22, 23. And I was like, there is something going on here because for them to be this young and afford this house, there has to be something else going on. There was this girl and I went ahead and I went to her Facebook page and I saw that her whole peer group were people just like her. These were the offsprings of wealthy parents and their names, their communications, their style of dress was all very different. And I researched her and found out that her father was an attorney. His father was a surgeon. And the way that they spoke and presented themselves was very much in line with the upper middle class upbringing that they both had received. So keep dismissing increasing your communication skills. Keep dismissing increasing your skill sets. If you can write a book, one book, and that book resonates with an audience, it can make you a millionaire. One book. But so many of you are out here looking for these shortcuts and these things, because like, what is writing a book? Waking up every day and it took me three months. Every morning I would get up from the hours of six to nine and I would write for four hours. Well, six to 10, I would write for four hours. So what you need to do <clears throat> is be educating yourself, taking classes, working on things so you can develop new skill sets so you don't have to worry about being globally reset. This is one of the things that I implore you to get started on. You know, get you a subscription to Audible, start reading books every month or listening to books. And you should make a goal to listen to four books a month. That's like almost 50 books a year. After one year, you will have so much new knowledge and this will make you way more competitive out here in the global marketplace because see that's the thing yeah i live in atlanta but my customers are literally around the world i live in atlanta i don't do a lot of business here in atlanta a lot of people's like hey you know he's a consultant you know i don't do nothing here in atlanta i do everything on the internet 
but that is a new skill set. So guys, you need to work on your skill sets because if you don't work on your skill sets, trust me, it is going to catch up with you. So go below, get the audio book, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimp Your Mind for Success and listen to it 10 times. And I will see you guys in the next one.